So I was having a debate with one of the writers um, today, and I feel like he backed me into corner to sound to to spew a Republican talking port point by accident. And I'm like, man, fuck, <laughs> I'm mad. I'm thinking about the conversation, thinking, okay, you held your own, even though he was bullshitting you clearly, and he was a better arguer. Um, I am not in any way like, I, I'm, I'm a liberal Democrat, and there's another commentator who shall not be named because she's very hateful and spiteful, and she's black and conservative, and I can't fucking stand her. So I do not want to be categorized in the same category as this girl. She's very bright. She's very intelligent, very well-spoken, way more smarter than me, way more well-spoken. Um, and Republicans and conservatives eat her ass up because she's black and she agrees with all of their racist, spiteful, not saying Republicans and conservatives are racist and spiteful, but some of them are, um, viewpoints. And I felt like I was backed into a corner. I'm try I try to be objective. I try so hard, but I feel like I was tricked into saying something that might, I, I should have thought through before I, my little ass was just trying to argue. <laughs> and I think that I should have stopped and thought before I formulated an opinion on a policy that I really don't know nothing about. But the way he did it, he tricked me into saying some, some dumb bitch shit. <laughs> and I'm kind of mad at myself. I, I don't know. And then I choked on Bernie Sanders name. Um, I'm like, Ben Zen, but, but, but. And I'm mad at myself. You know when you get in an argument and you think, damn, I fucked this up, I fucked that up? Well, it wasn't an argument. It was a debate. And I was debating against somebody who was probably well-practiced, way smarter than me, and a way better debater who's probably taking it easy on me. But he tricked me into saying some maybe... I don't know. I have to think on what I said. I, I just spit it out before I could actually formulate an opinion on a policy that I don't know nothing about. And when you don't know shit from Shinola, you can either wing it or you can shut the fuck up and say, I need to look into that policy um, before I can regret, like before I can form an opinion on it. But I just wanted to argue so bad that <laughs> I just said, I just spit it out. And I don't know if it sounded politically correct or correct at all. And it might've been a little bit fucked up, but again, I'm objective. So when I sit down and actually think about a policy or think about something that's affecting my people, the people, American people, and in general, I'm gonna stick to my guns. But I have, I don't know about this this policy. I, I haven't researched it, and I was just like, I'm not going back. Well, yeah, I am. I'm going back on on what I said because it sounded really bad. But I feel like that asshole tricked me into saying it. He backed me into a corner, and if I if I'll look into it, but if I feel like I should back that opinion, and if I feel right in my heart about it, I will stand by what I said, but if I look into it and I'm wrong about it, um, then I will correct myself, so I just wanted to put that out there, he tricked me, don't be mad at me folks, um, I'm trying, but um, yeah, don't be trying to uh, bullshit me, because I can bullshit too, but I'm a little bit out of the loop on all things real because I live in this fucking bubble and I don't even know if the things presented to me in life I are are real or not. But dang it. <laughs>